Hey guys, it's Alexandra. Today I'm going to be talking to Kelly and her son Zach. Um, Kelly years ago was in a really tragic car accident and she was is really lucky to even be alive from it. Um, she believes that it was her son Zach that gave her the strength to survive and she, you know, has been through several brain surgeries um, and is still facing excruciating pain in her day-to-day -day life but she's able to push through um you know with her son by her side and put a smile on her face and inspire others to do the same so i hope that you will resonate with you know the hope of their message and hope that you will stay tuned for the rest of their story and subscribe for more videos all right thank you so much picked up <clears throat> excuse me sorry we went to the movie and after the movie we ended up going bowling and on the way home it was two in the morning it was uh the night before martin luther king's birthday so it was actually two in the morning of martin luther king <clears throat> and my ex-husband's brother i was passenger in his car he had a convertible corvette and on the way home, um, he wasn't drunk, but uh, he just made a bad choice. And um, we were going on, it was, like I said, it was at 2 in the morning, so it was obviously dark out. We are on a curvy road, and he was going over 100 miles an hour um, down the road, and it was in January. So, you know, there was some ice on the ground anyway. Um, the place where my accident happened actually is uh, considered the most dangerous um, intersection anyway around us. So between um, the light we started at was 151st. Between that, right before we got to 143rd, we were going on a curvy road. And like I said, it was going over 100 miles an hour. When he came out of the curve, uh, right before the light, he lost control, and um, we flipped. We ended up going off the road. We flipped head over tail. Uh, we knocked down one of the huge light poles, and we knocked down seven trees. And the car ended up landing upside down on top of us both. And, um, you know, when the car landed, we were actually both awake, you know, which is crazy because, I mean, if you were to ever see the uh, pictures of cars, which I think you have, um, we were under the car. They got um, David out within about, I think it was like 16 minutes, they were able to get him out. Me, it took almost two hours uh, to get me out from underneath. They had to use the airlift and they had to use the jaws of life to get me out from underneath. Um, really there is no explanation how I survived it or why we both lived other than, you know, Zachary. And, um, you know, I had to get airlifted. I was, um, then in the hospital, of course, uh, for about seven days afterwards. So, and I'm, you know, since then there's been a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but but he was Zachary was a year and three <clears throat> three months old when I got in the accident, and to date I have had over sixty procedures, I've had thirty two surgeries and eight brain surgeries, all of which have failed. So, oh my gosh! So what? <laughs> what are you yeah. dealing with um, physically? Like, what are you dealing with right now? <clears throat> oh my! I'm sorry, my throat. Um. I have something called trigeminal neuralgia, and um, it's considered the world's most agonizingly painful disorder, and they actually it's dubbed the suicide disease or suicide illness because they say that within the first two years of being diagnosed, um, 
something like 30 or 40 percent of the people who have it will commit suicide that's how bad the pain is um so I have that, and I have seizures from it. I um, I pass out from the pain because it's so bad. Um, there's something called vasovagal syncope, which is when your body it's it, it's pretty much a coping mechanism. The pain gets so intense, your body will actually shut out like a light. So I will pass out, and then have seizures, and then um, so yeah, I've got the trigeminal neuralgia, and they've done every surgery, every procedure known to mankind, and I am considered, they say I'm the worst case they have ever seen, which is not an accolade I really wanted to have, but um, so yeah, I'm the worst case, and I had um, to my doctor uh, from Loyola uh, in Maywood, he sent my scans to doctors in Italy and doctors in um, New Zealand. Um, and out of those five world-renowned surgeons, they all said I'm um, the worst case. So um, they really don't have much hope. Um, I mean, they, you know, we, can, we can only pray that something will come up, but it's not looking too good. And then um, about a year and a half ago, I uh, started developing um, symptoms of um ms and there we go ms so um i've been dealing with that and um should i about how they can treat more i don't know how much uh, okay basically so, they yeah. can't treat her ms because of complications that have happened with her trigeminal no, surgeries and everything uh, well, they things, can't, no things that because i can't get mris um, yes, yeah, so I have, I have a, they put a device in my neck and my chest for the trigeminal neuralgia a number of years ago, and um, they, it didn't work, so they ended up trying to remove it while well, the brain matter grew around it, so now I still have metal in my brain. In order to treat the MS, I need to have MRIs done, like once a month. In and order for that, you'd have to get it removed. Right, I'd have to... Um, you can't have metal in your body for an MRI, and um, the my brain has already grown around it. There's, I, it, it's it's deadly to take it out. So, um, yeah. No, yeah. she just kind of has to like live with it. Yeah. So. so and that's the frustrating thing is that um, to live with both of these two very very devastating diseases and know that. Um, there's no way to treat either one of them and that I just have to be, just accept that daily things are just going to get worse and there's really, you know, so. So how do you <laughs> even like live day to day? Like how do you get through that? How are you um, like standing, talking, being so <laughs> smiley and, you know, fine with life? Do you mean like physically or emotionally? Both. Or both. Both. Yeah. Okay. Um, physically, it, it, right now the pain I'm in, like my doctors explained it to my ex before. It's like if there, there was like a, a like ten foot man and he weighed a thousand pounds, that man would be on his knees begging, crying to just be to die that's how bad the pain is. So um, the pain does not go away. It's every second of every day. Um, the only time I get any relief, um, if any, is when I'm sleeping. And that's not an easy thing to do. Sleeping is not. So um, yeah, it's how do I, okay, physically, I just do. You know, I mean, there is no, and I guess that ties in with the emotions too. Like, there is no there's nothing else but you know that I don't have a choice you know I mean it's um physically my you know I I really think your body adapts I mean it's, it never told it I mean it still is a miserable thing and it, it, you know um but your body I think kind of has a way of just you, I mean you have to you, you adapt you know and um I I do watch out, like, um, there are a lot of triggers, 
So I try to avoid triggers. You know, there's a lot. Of, weather is very bad. Um, stress. Uh, what other things? Noise now is really, really bad. Um, you know, I, I've got, <clears throat> like, my teeth are, you know, I, I break my teeth. My, I bite pieces of my tongue out of, off, which is disgusting. But, I, yeah, it's... It's, it's not it's, fun. No, it's not fun. But as far as emotionally or um, my attitude, um, yeah, I've had and across me, I've had my, some dark days, you know, and I've gone, I've, I've dealt with a lot. Um, but I go to therapy. That's huge. Um, I know when to call it. I know when I'm having my days. I'm very aware. aware and... I, you know, I mean, it's not sound cheesy, but like him, you know, he, at the end of the day, no matter what, he's my reason, you know, um, knowing that, you know, he's proud of me or that he, um, you know, can admire what I, I do or, you know, the things I do, it, it makes everything, you know, it, it makes the next minute bearable in the next hour and you know, so and when you talk about um you know when your accident first happened and you being able to rationalize that the only way you could have made it out of that is because of your son what do you mean by that um he he first of all he didn't ask to be born with a mom that ended up being so sick, you know, um, I, <laughs> when I got pregnant and the day I found out probably without even like saying it out loud, I made a promise to him to give him the best life, you know, and he deserved that. He still deserves that. And, um, he's, he's, he keeps me going because, um, what do I always say? You're my biggest and best accomplishment, right? Yeah. And um, I know that no matter what else I do during my days or no matter how, um, you know, if I have to go in the bathroom or cry or, you know, because I'm in pain or if I, you know, no matter what, if I can get to the end of the day, and hear from him or see him or wake up in the morning and see that he's successful, you know, and um, that this all hasn't been for nothing. And because uh, we, trust me, he, it has not been easy to be a child of this. Absolutely not. But um, he'll be the first to tell you a lot a lot of good has come from it, you know, and um, he, oh, sorry, I, I lose my train of thought. Um, oh, I apologize, this this is the MS thing. I don't, um, what was I just saying? What was, where was I in the middle of the sentence? You were just talking about. How amazing you are. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, but, um, no, so bring me back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Where was I? I mean, you were, no, we were just talking about, like, how you get through, and you were saying that, like, with me and stuff, how you, like, yeah, we're, we're, oh, we're, yeah, we're no, no, no. Um, no, like, like, like Zachary, Zachary will, um, oh, I just said, oh, I know. Bam, I got it. All right. No, so I think, if anything, I can look at it and say, I have raised the most empathetic, compassionate, kind, loving, amazing human being. And this is not just me being, well, this may be a mom, but aside from me being a mom, like anyone will tell you that about him. And like, so, <laughs> yes, all this sucked and crossed me. I wish I could get away. But it created this, you know, and who's to say, or not who's to say, it's true. If I didn't have this path and if I didn't have this illness and if we didn't have all these circumstances, he wouldn't, Zachary would be Zachary. 
you know, and, um, yeah. yeah. So, and I mean, I, I, that, however, that's, that's kind of, it's a double-edged sword because this is, this is the big, probably the thing I struggle with the most is I worry every day, um, that, how, how short, how, like, what's right? That he was shorted, like like he he didn't deserve this, you know. He he. I'm not saying I did either, but he, he didn't deserve to grow up with a mom that's this sick. And uh, it didn't. I didn't let it like really affect me. I mean, I did obviously. Like it was. It's it's hard, but like like she's still my mom. Like you know, like she still she does. She did a great job. Still does a great job. And. She beats herself up about it a lot, but I always tell her to not do it because I have no complaints. So and, it's, not, and, it's not like I'm like, oh, my mom. Ugh. And you, like, were, you oh, did I'm this sorry. to me. Um, no, me. and he knows I, he knows I, but like, um, also about like, how do I get through it or like me being happy or, you know, all the time. And, but first, actually, I'm not happy all the time, but the way I look at it, like, who wants to be around that person that complains all the time and, you know, that it, it doesn't, it doesn't solve anything. It doesn't make it any better. And it definitely, I'm miserable if I'm complaining. So I was like, who wants to hear that over and over and over? And I just, I, I choose to, I choose to look at the best side because it's um and if i if i don't i don't think i can ever pick myself back up if i um shut down you know and um it, it's easier to be happy uh because if i allowed myself to feel all of it it's it's too much and i I've always been a, like, happy, you know, kind of person. And he, he's the same way. Like, anybody who knows Zachary always says he's never in a bad mood. He doesn't complain. He's, you know, and that's why I was. And what was it up until, let's say, the accident? You're 24. Up until two years ago. Yeah. He yeah. never saw me even ever complain or get upset. You know, so. Yeah. Man, do you, I bet you view your world and just life in general a lot differently now than you did before your accident. Would you say that? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. Um, it's, it's not that I, I don't even want to say I value it any differently, but um, I make the most of any moment that I feel my back, you know, and feeling good. And Zachary will, you know, tell you that. Like, if there's a day where I'm feeling, like, okay, it's like I'm, you know, wanting to do everything I possibly can because I, and just like actually earlier I wasn't feeling that good, and Zachary asked if I, and what is your name? I'm sorry. Alexandra. Okay, sorry. Um, he asked if maybe we should call. He's like, do you want to, you know, reschedule? And I said, no, because, like, in five minutes, I might be passed out, and I might be out of commission for a week or two or a month. So, um, yeah, I, I um, and I lost, what was the question? What was I just saying? I am so sorry. No, that's um, fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, but I, <laughs> I, I don't have that much time where I feel well, and it's getting my my windows of time is getting close or smaller and smaller. Um, I, my as far as like the actual physical, um, like trigeminal pain, like I mean that's the triggers are more and more. You know they're getting worse and worse, and I'm getting it in more parts of my face now. I have it in three places. Um, so yeah, like the actual physical that, and then like the MS symptoms. Um, like, we just saw, I went to the mall, and I, first of all, I don't drive. I, I haven't driven in, like, eight years. Second of all, I, um, I can't 
carry things, I get confused, I lose things, I, you know, so Zachary allowed, I just sound so cheesy, I'm 44, am I 44? 44. He allowed me to shop by myself, so I went shopping, well, I've got everything I bought, like, and so I didn't remember anything, and that's just, you know, I had to come home, and, you know, my, my son has to, you know, go through my bag, and he had to help me, but it's, it, it's very, um, yeah, so the moments that I have where I'm lucid or feeling good, yeah, I take full advantage. So, but I, I mean, I've lost, I've lost pretty much everything, though. I mean, I had, um, I was a dancer. I, you know, I, I'm educated. I have a college degree. You know, I, um, I, I did everything. I worked as hard as I could until I couldn't anymore. You know, and every time I'd run into a wall. I'd reinvent myself, and I was never okay with some, I, I was never okay to not be doing something, and I, I didn't want to give up, I, I didn't want to stop, I, you know, I finally got to point, I did, and uh, so I, I don't drive, and they all take care of me, so. Yep. So, when you decided to put you know, videos out there about your life and how you're feeling and, you know, um, very uplifting stuff. What made you think, um, what made you spark that interest to share that? Um, just, you know, it, it, it's been just years of people telling me that how I'm handling what I'm going through is inspiring or, um, once I started seeing, like, on, on TikTok, whatever, I don't know which video it was. The first time I actually had um, a response that made me, or a couple of responses, I should say, that wanted, made me want to keep going is um, I, there were people who, had, who reached out to me saying, like, I mean, I've had people say, like, um, I, like basically they were going to end their lives, like, that day. And that they saw one of my videos and gave them the will to keep on fighting, you know. And um, so it, it was it was that, and then more of that, and a lot. And um, I and I'm a performer at heart, so I love it. <laughs> yeah, she's a ham. I am a ham. Yes. Mm -hmm. ham. Yeah. So um, you yeah, know, it was kind of a mix of everything, and I um. Actually, without sounding cliche, like, if I can help one person, like, that's awesome. And I don't mean it to be cliche, and I'm not a cheesy person when it comes to that. But it's, it's very true. And um, when it comes to someone like my, you know, someone who's in chronic pain or someone with depression or whatever is going on in your life, even if you stubbed your toe that day, you know, if, no, but, like, if... if if there's something out there that can touch you or that can be inspiring or whatever, and there's people who look at my videos and, like, trust me, they're, like, you know, have things to say that aren't great. But, um, yeah, I mean, if, if they can, if it does anything, if it helps anybody, because, and, and let me, it's, it's um, therapeutic for me as well. So it's not totally being like a selfless thing. Like it, it, it helps me to work my shit out too. So um, yeah. And I don't know. I, TikTok, Zachary is the one who introduced me to TikTok. And it's really been pretty awesome. And I ideally I wanted to, if I could go back and get my master's, I would have loved to do it in psychology or something. Um, but I, I'm not well enough to do that. So instead, you guys get to <laughs> hear me spew it all out. So. so, Zach, what are your, from somebody who's not going through it, but is watching somebody else go through it, how do you, how do you stay positive through that? Um, well, I, when I was little, I, I, obviously I was young when it happened. So like years and years went by and I learned uh, when it wasn't bad until I was, you know, <clears throat> halfway through high school, uh, like my junior, I was like 17. It started really like getting pretty bad. Um, and music helped me. Um, and I mean, my mom is like my biggest fan, literally like <laughs> ever. So like, 
that helped and like that helped not only myself but like her too because like she saw that I was going after what I wanted to go after and like following my dreams like literally and it's been a long time coming and like she's I know that like obviously for my yeah it's like I'm excited a lot of stuff's happening great things are happening but she's excited so like if I can keep that feeling like that's good because like she listens to my stuff like she's involved like I give her snippets of like what I'm working on like she's involved so like I keep her in that and but I mean as a person watching it it's hard like I mean I mean I've I've been around my whole life pretty much so I mean obviously I've I don't want to say grown accustomed and grown like gotten used to it, but like for people watching outside, they're probably like some people are just like, what the hell? Like, but like people don't get it. But I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like it's definitely crazy. And it's, it's supposedly the worst thing you will ever yeah. see in your life is to see me go through an episode. Yeah. And it's, it's tough and it's hard. And, but I mean, she handles it well and we all do. I mean, I live with my grandparents right now. Um, I'm actually getting my first place in like a m- month and a half or two months. Ah, don't go. <laughs> and um, <laughs> like she's on her own, but like she handles herself well and stuff like that. So I mean, it's it's been it's been hard, but like we've we've done it, we managed, and it's cool to see her like still go in and like now on TikTok. I mean, she's having fun. People look up to her. So like I've been pushing her. I've wanted her to like write about her story publish it with like poetry she's a great poet like stuff like that like her writing or just like anything just talk about it like get people involved like you have people like in, be inspired by her like to keep pushing because that's what she did and so now to see her thrive on that i'm like yes i'm like finally because like she does a good job like i mean most parents i mean they're like how do you, you work this iphone <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but she i mean she does good like she she's handling it well and like it's cool so and like i mean you reach out to me you're like your mom is but that's so cool like that was cool i was like damn so i mean yeah it's that's pretty much my answer for that awesome well i would love if you guys could share with me um one of the most important things you learned from each other that you would want um others to know um and you mean like Having to deal with obviously like all this. Just anything. Oh, just okay. What'd you learn? Yeah, life wise. Um, I'd say for me, just like, like okay, not to like use foul language. I, That's fine. I haven't. So, <laughs> life will give you a shit sandwich. Just put ketchup on it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So like, make it good. She has. I mean, I'm not saying she has a shitty life because she doesn't. But like, she knows what you mean. She, you know, like, but she makes the best out of it. So I learned like, yeah, life can suck like bad. I mean, it can, it can be rough and like whole world isn't like experience this, this pandemic, like it's crazy. So, I mean, but like, if you can just even for five, 10 minutes out of your day, just shout out a little positivity. It goes so long. It goes so far. Like, so I've learned to just push on and just be strong and just confident and just, positivity so that's that's what i've learned from her so and okay and you know um let me just think how i want to say this um from zachary um is that you know what um is how much as he can say like with me um how much he sees me and or whatever um it's the same like i've seen what he's had to deal with and I know the things that I do I put on him in his life even though I don't mean to um and he's still I mean he's happy and he's um always willing to do anything and everyone and um yeah like he said you know um how did you put like um that if you could just like put a little bit of positivity out there yeah Zachary, I mean, it's very, very similar because um, the happiness, like he is, um, he's, it's, it's infectious. Um, 
you know, his positivity. And I think we kind of, obviously, we kind of have the same answer. We kind of, I think, bounce that off of each other. And I, I don't think we've had a choice up to this point. You know, I think we yeah. kind of both have to keep each other. You know, it's like, he looks at me and goes, he's looking at me saying, man, your life sucks, but hey, here's this. And I'll be like, oh, man, it sucks to be you because you got to deal with me, but hey, here's this. You just, we kind of, like, have this, you know, thing back and forth. And we we hold each other to a standard without even saying it, you know. And um, he... He wants, oh, I almost made that sound like you make me want to be a better man. Like, I mean, like, he makes me want to be an awesome person um, because, it, like, he, he said about the music, about me being his biggest fan. Like, not only with his music, like, I am like, I mean, Zachary, and I, like, raise him up. Like, he is, I, I think everybody says their kid's the best. No, sorry, hell no. My, I mean, he's amazing, and um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm blessed, and I can honestly say in his 24 years life, I, I've never, he's never disappointed me. Um, I mean, of course, he pisses me off sometimes. But the only time I can really think you guys, I got mad at you when we were like 10 and you guys were supposed to be riding the bikes here and he went all together. But I'm, I'm not joking. 24 years of life and that's basically how it is. He's been, he's been a joy. So, you know, I mean, he totally takes after his mother. So, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So. Well, I think it's so awesome the relationship that you guys have. And I think it just, it's just, I don't know, it's just very, very heartwarming. And I think, Thank you. you know, I just imagine my mom and if this was my situation and I just think you guys are both awesome and such inspiration. Thank you. So I hope that you will keep sharing and I hope. Absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. Ask you. Them. And just. Thank you. Yeah. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Like. This is, yeah, this yeah, is awesome. Yeah, thank you for reaching out. That is, it's so cool. And do you know what? I actually, what is it I, I, that you said I didn't have a what? To get a hold of me on. What? She was trying to reach out to me. You said, what was Oh, Instagram. There we go. Instagram. I actually created one after he told me that kind of, I think. She won't use yes. it. She no, won't. I will. I won't have a clue. She's created yeah. like four. Yeah. That's and hard. a Twitter. Well, what happens is I forget my, it? I forget how to log into things. I forget my passwords. We we're actually just having this conversation with Zachary's girlfriend what, half hour ago because I was talking about one of my things and he goes, oh, just change your password. I'm like, have you met me? I was yeah. like, yeah, I'm lucky I knew my name right now, so, yeah, oh it's bad. <laughs> so now I have an Instagram, I think, maybe. Yeah. My mind is slipping more and more. It's like daily, it's getting worse and worse. I mean, when I was younger, I had tested in, like, the 98th percentile of the United States. So uh, now I am I take, you know, um, dementia medicine. You know, I have, I, I, you know, the MS is just like, you know, I'm, I'm a hot mess. So that's, I think, one of the most frustrating things. Like, I mean, the fact, I don't know the U.S. map. I was just taking a, a shot. I don't know where it is. I thought maybe. Yeah, you know, definitely not through New York. That's all right. I tried. Um, but. Thank you yeah. guys so much. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. Seriously. It was, if, you ever need, if you ever have any questions or like, yeah, want to reach out. out. Yeah. I'm always, I'll trust always me, answer. Yeah. She trust me, I definitely will. I love talking. Yeah, well, yeah. If you if you reach out to her on TikTok, she'll. Yeah, she'll, yeah. But, and I yeah. really, I uh, and I know you you gotta go, but like what what he just said about um you know him wanting me to you know tell my story like writing and poetry and stuff, and I do I write all the time, but I don't have the um the skills I'm more to like, I get confused. I told her I'd help her. She's but I mean, I have had, she said it all. I, I've been told over and over, my life would be a great book. And like, you know, my story, um, because I mean, what we've just talked about now is like this tiny sliver and, you know, and, um, so yeah, I, uh, but it's, what's the other thing we were talking about? YouTube, me doing like a Ted talk or something. Oh, she, 
take the advice, write the book, write the poetry. <laughs> I'm t I, I told her. I told her. I it's terrible. I don't and, know why she does and it. And I, I have been told over and over that I, you know. Just literally have, like, tell the story to have somebody write it well, for Well, if you. I could find a ghostwriter, but it's very expensive. But, like, and, and, and Worth it. I mean, that was, I, um, I would have loved to, you know, before actually written. And I would have been able to. I was a good writer. But, um, yeah, it's a, I looked into doing a ghostwriter, but I know it's very expensive. And. But uh, but I do have a story to tell. Yep. I mean, everyone's got a story to tell. Everybody's lives, you know, ha it has their own path and their own story. But um, I definitely do. I've, yeah, it, my my life would be like the uh, the best like fiction book. Even it would be better than so. <laughs> but well, whatever way you can express what you're expressing, I I'm so glad I was able to connect with you, and I think. Um, I just hope that you understand the impact that you're having on people because it's so uh, much, so. That, yeah. that means so much to me. It really does. So thank you. And I'm glad you, you know, for you reaching out that this, this is the kind of stuff that makes me want to go another day. Uh, so thank you. Yes. Yeah, so thank <laughs> you very much. Okay, of course. All right. Yes. Please stay in touch and I wish you guys yeah. the best. And thank you. If you need anything, I'm always here. So feel free to reach out anytime. Okay, thank great. you. Thank you. We'll stay in touch. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.